guys so in the last video we were successfully able to create our single uploader as a multi uploader that we have created in the previous videos so now I'm gonna create a third uploader component that was a drop zone so I'll create this file drop zone dot view and under that I'm gonna give a basic scaffolding of your application or basically I'm gonna get rid of everything and I'm gonna copy everything from our single uploader just gonna paste that and instead of this single I'm gonna give the class of drop zone so this is our drop zone and now if I save it there's nothing fancy happening here and I also wanna copy from this here to paste it down and instead of this multi uploader I simply say drop zone uploader I'm gonna copy and put it inside drop zone then we'll register this component inside our this components whatever we have and then we will render that over here so let me quickly copy and paste it and we'll get rid of this part so this is our drop zone uploader and the endpoint was single only so basically it was sending one by one all the files upload your files here this will be the prop which I've been receiving and now if I go ahead and look you can see the basic scaffolding you get the idea right so once we are done with that now we'll go to our main that says so in order to make it like a look like a drop zone we'll upload co cop we'll copy most of the part like this only I'm gonna copy paste it just behind that and instead of the single this will be only our drop zone so we have drop dash zone class and if I save it you can see this is becoming like this and that's how it should look so now in a drop zone we need just a couple of optimizations just a couple of modifications in our code so first of all this whole part this uploader mask and this part has to be in our whole flex container so I'm gonna give it a width of let's say a height of 250 pixels and you can set it to any whatever you feel like but I would love to go with the 250 pixels width will be 95 or let's make it 93 90% actually and that should be important 90% so this will be the width of the this thing and now if I see you, if I click here you can see we have we are getting this option to upload that file but our drop zone shrunk a bit so what I'm gonna do inside this file upload input I'm gonna get a class D flex one or actually this will be yeah so basically I'm gonna co comment out this line that we have over here and now you can see this D flex is there but if I click here this is not taking the full width of that container so the way we can do that we can always give it a background and instead of opacity background color of let's make it let's make it for now we'll go with this pink and this is our whole whole file uploader and um, if I give it a background of color of let's say dollar yellow for now and instead of this I'm also gonna get rid of this part so that you can see everything is aligning half and half so now I am gonna give it also class of deflex uh, actually flex grow one this should be the property the flex grow one Uh, let me save it now you can see this is taking the full width and in this also I'm gonna give the same property so now this is just half and half this is dividing each other but in that so let me make that opacity 
let's play around with the opacity let's see what happens and as I do this this part is here we have the file uploader here if I click here there's nothing happening and now what we do is instead of having that inside that part we'll give it a class of deflex again save it now you can see this is taking the whole width let me quickly get rid of that check that so we just have to play around with these values and how it overlaps to each other that we have to define okay so this is happening this way uh, and this uploaded images will be our array and we'll uploading our array basically and to whatever we have already inside our uploaded images let me quickly save that and even in our IMG I'm also gonna get rid of that part and this will bring it from our this multi uploader component that we have here so I'm gonna copy this paste it just down at the bottom so uploaded IMGs in the uploaded IMGs and this uploaded IMGs will be this so only like if you're clear with the basics how we can upload the file we can do all sort of stuff we have upload progress we have it is uploading true set it to and now you can upload images is not defined if I reload that's that has been already fixed and now we have to <coughs> uh, one more thing I want to give just behind this part that's a uh, align item center flex column and within that I'm also gonna give a P with a class of Text muted, muted font size SM. Upload your files here. If I save it, this will be just fine. And now, if I click on this, now we have to overlap this part. Uh, one more thing, quick thing, which I want to get rid of is uploading so instead of this I'm gonna get it from here and just paste over this part so I'm gonna give it a class of the flex and within that flex I'm gonna put my uploader and for noise uploading I'm gonna set it to true just to see how it looks on the UI so for that upload progress let's make it 50 set it to true we're not going to handle with our files and now that looks fine but we need some kind of a margin from the top so we'll simply say empty to and this is uploading from here I'm gonna cut this I'm gonna paste it over here so that whole div is up visible and that looks quite nice it has a 50% of the progress oh let me make it three padding okay so this looks nice actually I would say and here we'll be having the list of the images that will be rendered just at the bottom so this will be our list uh, one more quick part image data path whatever we are getting we'll send them we'll receive one by one file and then we'll put this value to null we'll set that value once we are done uploading dot value because basically we are clearing it up at the end once we are done with uploading our files and upload single file with our drop zone now we have to look how we can overlap these things together so in our drop zone component 
see what we can do. Deflex, then we don't need to give it a class of deflex again. So it is working. Now we have to overlap these two together. So one way around is basically, let me remove this flex growth from there. Let's see what happens. If I save it. Now these are taking two container spaces. And also, let me give it a position of absolute. If I save it, now this whole part is visible. If I give it an opacity of zero, now this is our uploader drop zone and this is our file so now what I'm gonna do is let's increase it to 95% so let's see where, where it goes actually let's make it 100% so it is taking whole container area if I click this is not working if I click here it's not working if I click here not working so we need to shrink that size just a bit so instead of this, let me get rid of this opacity and the, the color solid colors that we have defined. Let's see how it looks. So this is our file upload and this is our whole our mask. So everything is setting properly, only this part is so let's make it 99% the space and now they are overlapping each other perfectly. So I'm gonna get rid of that, cut this out too. I'm gonna remove the uh, put the opacity back and now you can see that we have our drop zone uploader so if I click go to my desktop I'm gonna upload this file and now we can see we are getting infinite loop so our page has broken that means we made some kind of mistake inside that so on change We'll check. We'll cut everything here. Okay, so first of all, we are setting the value to the zero. Dot files. Okay, so I think this line just messed up. And now if I click, okay, again, we, our template is broken. So what is happening behind the scene is basically I'm spreading this data property. Apart from that, we have to spread this. So this was spreading the whole characters of the string that we were getting. And now if I upload, click here, we have the React SVG. If I click again, we have the Codebook Inc. logo. If I click again, and we are not getting any kind of file over there. So that's basically because so if I click again, this should give me the third. If I click, now we have the fourth image. And now if I go to my downloads, let me put my logo that we have in our view logo. If I put the PNG, view white logo that's here. That's a white, that's why you cannot see. And we have all the images listing it properly so that means we are successfully done with our uploader drop zone so basically now it's time to test our uploader with our dropping of our files so let me quickly shrink this my code and there I'm gonna drag one file that we have let me let me put that check that over here real quickly so that's our any file can work just fine for now for the testing the progress bar and before testing our progress bar I forgot to set to false back so this is, will be false and initial value of the upload progress will be zero and as I do this we get our component let me shrink this part over here and let's drag and drop the video and now you can see it is uploading it is showing the percentages at all completely but since it was a video that's why we are not able to see that video and we haven't uh, handled that thing on the front end and the sphere for reload that uh, 
and it's not dragging down. Yes, it is uploaded. If I go to my covers, you can see our cover is there. Upload more files, you can see that file is there. Another one. And we can see it is working just fine. And that's basically it about the video and it's done. So hope you guys enjoyed the series and we did a lot of SAS inside. We have integrated bootstrap, view bootstrap also. We looked through the, some of the components of the view bootstrap. We also uh, looked how we can structure our modular code pattern that we have defining our Axios instance and even the constants here. And we did a lot of cool stuff here. So if you like this content, just give me a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. and. You can share this video to a lot of people. You can send them across who just want to learn. As well as I'm working currently on View Apollo Server Express. So I'm getting some issues while on the front end side where to listen for the listen for the this upload event progress. So if anyone know anything about that, just let me know in the comments because I read through the documentation but I couldn't find it anywhere. So if you have any suggestions for that, just please let me know in the comments below and thank you guys.